On behalf of the Greater Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce, we welcome you to the 53rd Annual Pompano Beach Holiday Boat Parade. I'm Gwen Lees, past chair of the Greater Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce, and with me tonight are committee members, Rhonda Bunker and Steve Joyner. <laughs> All right, it looks like we have to welcome our oh, first there. boats to the parade. So we will get back to our interviews in just a minute. Uh, the first boat that I see on our lineup here is from the U.S. Coast Guard. The 45-foot response boat medium from Coast Guard Station Fort Lauderdale replaces the aging 41-foot utility boat with improvements that significantly increase speed and improve response times for missions. Well, a design that incorporates human factors, systems, engineering, decreases crew fatigue on extended patrols. The RBM is part of the Coast Guard's plan to standardize and revitalize its shore base fleet. Hundreds of hours are spent underway conducting training, search and rescue, and transporting the special, special tactical Coast Guard teams to conduct boardings on high interest vessels. Richard and I, my husband, have been a member for almost 23 years, and we are the volunteer arm of the Coast Guard. We do a lot that the Coast Guard does, um, except law enforcement, of course, and uh, we actually are the only volunteer service under Homeland Security. I thought that was very that. interesting. Yes. Oh, I see the Musette coming. Wow. And here is our lead boat, the Musette. This is a 110-foot, three-deck charter boat. And guests on board, I am quite sure, we'll hear from them shortly, must be in a holiday mood, enjoying their gourmet dinner with dancing and special entertainment. And on board tonight is our Grand Marshal for this year's parade, the Honorable Chip Lamarca, Broward County Commissioner, and his wife, Eileen. I understand a number of our board members, uh, our committee members, are also on there. They uh, put on quite a party. Absolutely. Uh, Chip has been a lifelong resident of Broward's 4th District, and he's earned a reputation for being a citizen's advocate and a respected voice for the taxpayers who he is honored to represent. And of course, Broward County is celebrating their centennial birthday this year in 2015. And I understand the goal of that centennial this year is to unify and mobilize the arts community, business community, and all the municipalities and partners by and celebrating Broward County Centennial that includes a historical perspective and more importantly, a look towards the future. I see Rhonda over here with a special, very glittery guest. She is very glittery and very beautiful. I would like to introduce and welcome Debbie McCarty. She is the Miss Florida Elegant Woman of Achievement. That is a mouthful and um, beautiful crown to go with it. So. Thank you and welcome. Tell us a little bit about what you do and thank you for all what you, you know, everything you've done. Well, thank you. I've been in Pompano for 30 years and I went out to California and um, this pageant is Woman of Achievement and it's a pageant with substance. It's what we do for our community. It's not all about this, but really what comes from our heart. So I'm just very honored to be here to represent not only Florida, but Pompano Beach. So you're not only beautiful on the outside, but you're beautiful on the inside as well. Well, thank you. It's such a pleasure to have you. Are you enjoying yourself? Always. I love it. 30 years of home parade. I love it. I love Pompano Beach. Thank you for having me here. Thanks for representing thank us. You so thank you so much. Thank you. All right, and we have another beautiful boat coming our way. Yes, the Daffy. Daffy is a 40-foot hunter sailboat. Relay for Life of Deerfield Beach, Lighthouse Point, Hillsborough Group is aboard Daffy. When you understand you're part of the um, Relay for Life. I have the pleasure of being the event chair this year for Pompano Beach Relay for Life. So I'm real excited to have this beautiful boat in our parade for this year. The boat is decorated in all purple lights, the color of the Re Relay for Life, American Cancer Society. The design is a Christmas tree going up 55 feet and 20 feet forward and 20 feet aft. It was quite the challenge getting all those lights up. 
The design is a crisp, oh, I did that. Uh, it was quite, the, well, there was twice. The Daffy Sailboat has been a spectator and participant in the Winterfest Parade going back to 1982 and now joins the Pompano Beach Boat Parade. Initially, as a spectator, the owner of the vessel concluded it would be easier to be in the parade than try and find a place to anchor the boat and watch. I can attest to that. I've been there. Um, three years in a row, the Daffy was a first place winner in its division in the Winterfest Boat Parade. I would like to quickly thank all the volunteers who have helped put not only this event together, but all of the events that the Pompano Chamber sponsors. Um, without all of the manpower and all the tireless hours of the volunteers, we would not be able to do this. So our sincere thanks to all of you. Uh, to finish up on Daffy, um, this year's request from Brian Burns with Relay for, for Life uh, to participate in the parade was eagerly accepted. Having lost friends and family to cancer, this was a no-brainer. The name Daffy is a standing joke. Uh, Charlie Nupp's first five boats were named after his ex-wife, and the next two after his sons, followed by two more named after his business. All right, Rhonda, we have a little Coast Guard auxiliary boat coming up called Dorado, number five in the parade. Yes, we do. The Dorado is 17 feet, center console, Boston Whaler. Um, the 17-foot Boston Weller was made in 1979 as a real classic with the original gel coat antique. Bruno Berti, a member of the Pompano Beach Coast Guard Auxiliary, um, three, four takes wonderful care of this antique boat. It is a beauty. He spends hours maintaining the new look that you can see today. Tonight, it is covered in patriotic red, white, and blue lights. You gotta love that. Go USA. And he's often stopped by boaters admiring his unique boat. So thank you, that is beautiful. And it's all done in red, white, and blue. Beautiful. Well, our next boat is coming. But we wanna thank MJ who's been assisting him. Oh, on Bruno's boat, absolutely. And as he turns around, you can see now the colors are blue, white, and red. Uh, he's doing a spin for us. All Nicely right. done. Uh, uh, this is uh, from Two Men in a Truck. Owners Elena Allen and Alex Lanier. They have an impressive sound system. I'm sure the judges are taking note of. Yes, uh, and the, the music you see is timing with the lighting. Oh, look at Very that. beautiful. He's used the outriggers as part of his lighting. You can feel the bass from here. Very impressive. I know. I just want to go out there and jump on board. <laughs> Not yet, Rhonda. Not OK. Yet. <laughs> two, two men in a truck have been in uh, quite a number of our parades, and we always love having them with us. They do a beautiful job. And they're doing a nice pirouette for us. So Rhonda, I always like to ask my newbies what they think of our South Florida holiday traditions versus where they may have lived before. Well, I can tell you, first of all, coming from Seattle, I really like the weather here. Um, right now they have power outages, floods, and a state of emergency from the weather. Oh, so, see that on the news. so I'm kind of liking it here, and I'm not in a pair of Uggs, I'm in flops. So, no, the boat parades here are much more extensive. It's a much more festive event, and I, I feel, I think the weather has a lot to do with it, but I think the community as well. So it's very impressive what y'all do here. I do see we have uh, Kokomo coming up here. Kokomo is a 36-foot sailing catamaran, a fountain Pujat. Kokomo is here tonight celebrating a Caribbean Christmas. As the Beach Boys song says, we'd love to sail off on Kokomo to exotic islands. Very nice. Are you going to sing it, Steve? No, not this time. But if you'd uh, okay. like to jump in, go ahead. <laughs> Larry Winchell is the owner and captain, and his crew tonight are friends and members of the Hillsboro Inlet Sailing Club. Fantastic. They, they always do a beautiful job. Rhonda, I understand that you like to dive. I do. And coming to Pompano, you are certainly in the right place at the right time. 
And I think you know why. I do know why. Um, we have Shipwreck Park that is going to be coming. The Shipwreck will be here in July. And the thing I'm most excited about is the fact that I will no longer be known as the Shipwreck of Pompano. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. Oh. <laughs> now, anyway, for those of you who love to dive, we have a 300-foot cargo style ship, um, 120 feet off sh offshore, a uh, half mile out of um, Pompano Beach. It is going to be a great local diving spot. It's going to have a lot of exhibits underwater. It's, for the diver in your life, you're going to love it. But the best part of all is what it's going to do to the economy. From Lauderdale by the Sea to Deerfield Beach, we're going to have divers. So the dive shops are going to flourish, the hotels, the restaurants. It's going to be great for the economy great for the diving enthusiast, and just great for Pompano Beach. So we are very excited about Absolutely. it. Absolutely, and I think it's going to kick off on the 4th of July, if all things go well. That's what it sounds like. Looks like we now have Wickcraft. Wickcraft is a 30-foot Chris Craft, and this is the Wick family's fourth year in the Pompano Parade. Fantastic. Yay. And this year, the Wicks put the elves to work at the North Pole. Look at that. The costumes are phenomenal. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas from everyone on board the Wick Craft. And I will say, Gwen, to follow up on, on Seattle, I have some friends that are watching the live stream. So, hey, Seattle, I wish you were all here and warm and had power. I love y'all. All right, Steve, I didn't get a chance to ask you. I know that you've lived in a lot of different places around the country. And I think you have a special affinity for South Florida, too. Oh, yes. Um, at the various places I've been, I always end up back down here, and now I've made this my home. I've um, also been involved in boating events and parades in other parts of the country. Um, we have a, uh, up in Detroit, we have a Christmas parade also, but it doesn't work very well in the winter, so we have ours in July. <laughs> um, I see coming up next is um, Glory Days, I would expect. It's a sailboat, 36-foot uh, Catalina. Susie, uh, do you know how to pronounce her name? I don't want to ruin it. Susie Wehe. Wehe is the owner. Uh, they have lights going all the way up their mast as well. That has to take a lot of work to get that done. I, think I that, cannot imagine. I think that alone would keep me from being a sailboater. We do so appreciate all of the boats in our parade. We know it takes a lot of work and a lot of planning to put all this together. And even on board, it's a lot of work, especially for the skipper, you know, maintaining the safety of the boat and making sure everybody on board is having fun at the same time. But we don't want to keep you from bringing your boats in. We want more boats in the future, so. <laughs> I should say that too. <laughs> and I've been in both, both spots. Decorated on the water and watching these gorgeous boats. It's hey, I think I hear one of the crews singing to us. Oh, wow. That's a first. I love it. Live vocalist. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Too cute. <laughs> oh, that's magic. That's a different boat. All right, looks like this is Young Guns. The owner is Alex Armelli. This is a twin V, 14 foot. Oh, and they are happy playing our song. There's some happy minions on that boat. I love it. That's and we're fantastic. happy that you are in the parade. <laughs> Fantastic. Happy Minions. That was funny, Steve. <laughs> I'm a happy minion. <laughs> I believe this is number 13. Is that right, Richard? We have an, a man with an eye coming in. He has two, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is Arcos. Arcos is a 24-foot Mako. The Marante family is joining the Holiday Boat Parade for the first time. Welcome, Marante family. Please come back again next year. Having watched the parade for three years, they decided to become a part of it this year. Every year during Christmas, the family is filled with Christmas cheer. Christmas has always been a time where the family spends as much time together as possible. 
They love decorating the house together and are very happy to be able to decorate the boat as well. Members of the family on the boat are Captain Matthew, his wife, Margarita, daughter Lillian, and stepdaughter Shay. They have lots of lights and decorations on the boat and are very excited to experience this together. The Marante family says happy holidays and thanks for letting them participate in the parade. Again, come again next year. Yes, this is it. Do you want to announce it? Okay. Well, this is um, C Ray 17. It's vintage 1993. Ah, owned by Bruce Gutler, Sharon Nori. Our parading in a 17 foot. All right. Santa, go ahead. Santa, with help from baby nurse Sharon, proudly delivered the baby sea ray on the bow, who was named Ray of the Sea. <laughs> Aw, cute. Cheers are offered to everyone from Bruce, Sharon, and Ray of the Sea. Uh, this is uh, the Conk Flyer. It's a 37 foot Tayana, owned by Daniel Horak. Daniel has been a Pompano Beach resident since he was three years old, almost a native. He also has a phenomenal sound system on his boat, working that generator. He grew up boating and got into sailing as an adult. Hope you can hear me over him. Well, I know it's one of my favorite songs coming from Philadelphia. Ah, yes, right. Gotta love it. They're out there <laughs> boxing, too. Uh-oh, he got a break. I can talk. Since sailing is the only practical way to travel by sea, he sought a comfortable cruising boat and found the Conk Flyer in 2012. It's a beautiful boat. I can tell he maintains it well. He has followed boat parades since childhood and is in the Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce Holiday Boat Parade for the first time. Uh, he even has his tender off back. That's impressive. The theme for tonight is the tortoise and the hare, highlighting the rivalry between sail and power boating. The hare is being towed in his broken down power boat, hey, wait a minute, <laughs> by the tortoise aboard his sailboat and with his well-wishers partying along with him. <laughs> well done. I think you're right, too. Here. Go ahead. I don't have an 18. I have this back. Okay. Is that uh, boat 18? Yes, it is. Oh, there it All is. All right. I'll go. Uh, the Jupiter 31 foot. What's up now? Owners Gene and Lou Satini. We were in the Pompano Boat Parade with Louie Louie, which they sold. Now they're back with What's Up Now and a very enthusiastic crew. Our goal is to spread joy and holiday spirit to all the little believers with the music and the dancing, and they are doing that All now. right, well, this might be the Contiki. It's a 21-foot boat owner, Ray Cabral, and they're telling us it's done in aqua blue with Santa and reindeers. Yes, it is. Very creative use of the uh, the boardwalk there. We welcome the Contiki. Good use of lights on that vessel. Very nice. All right. So, Rhonda, we have a lot of interesting folks joining us here on the deck tonight. I know you've had a chance to interview a few of them. Did we uh, get through announcing all of our judges and uh, uh, thanking them did. for all the hard work they're doing today? All right. So... I know we talked about Melissa and Michelle, Tamara. Ah, oh, we got to mention Dr. Rask. Brian Rask, he grew up in Lighthouse Point and watched the boat parade with his family since childhood. Brian, are you around somewhere? Right over there. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. <laughs> He earned his Doctor of Dental Medicine degree from the University of Florida and now practices in Pompano Beach. Brian is an active member of the Pompano Beach Chamber and is a proud dad of the newest addition to the Rask household with Reagan born on November 30th. So I have a feeling somebody's really busy with the, with the little one and a great dad to boot. So congratulations, Brian. I understand mom Brian. and daughter are fine. They are fine. Mm -hmm. And, of course, our lead judge, Fred Siegel, is joining us again. He is a part of our Boat Parade Committee as well. All right. And looks like we have Feeling Naughty coming into our screen now, 27-foot island packet with owner Ken White. They're saying this is a first-time participant in the boat parade. Fantastic. We hope they're enjoying it, and they'll come back again. They purchased their sailboat in June, 
And they're only sailing it locally, but ooh, they want to cruise to Cuba. Oh, very, very interesting. Impressive. And they're a member of the Hillsboro Inlet Sailing Club and a regular member of the sailboat racing crew. Okay, next coming up here, a little bit further in the distance, we have a Bimini Twist, a 43-foot sport fisherman owned and operated by Scott and Anita McIlvain. Ah, they're doing a nice sweep coming in with a deck full of people and a very good sound system. I'm they sure. always do a beautiful job. We look forward to having them every year. Let's see if I can keep the breeze from covering up my notes here. Right. Uh, fairy tale is a story about magical and imaginary beings and lands. Shrek not only fits the definition, but also includes all of our favorite fairy tale characters throughout time. In keeping with this year's Winterfest theme, Winterfest? Uh, fairy tales afloat, and Bimini Twist is proud to present Shrek's karaoke dance party. And we uh, mention the Winterfest because we actually have a prize that if you win in winter and you're in the Winterfest and our parade, you have a special category just for you. The Winterfest being just yesterday, we try to encourage them to do both parades and we get quite a few, thank goodness. Join us at Shrek's Swamp and Dance to our favorite music along with Snow White, Pinocchio, Little Red Riding Hood, Peter Pan, Puss in Boots, Robin Hood, just to name a few. See the 20-foot dragon coming from the castle and chasing Princess Fiona, oh, Shrek, I see it. and the donkey across the swinging bridge. A lot of creativity there. Feast your eyes on the tasty 8-foot oh, gingerbread man. They're definitely stomping in the swamp. Oh, yeah. The Bimini Twist is pleased to provide entertainment to Pompano Beach, Fort Lauderdale, and Boca Raton boat parades. Thank goodness. We need lots of boats and people participating like that. Uh, okay, I am in the I'm pleasure to have the company of Commissioner Barry Doxwell. What do you think about this event? Well, thank you. This is a great community event. This is Pompano. We're, we're doing redevelopment. We're, we're coming up to date, but we're preserving our hometown, family-oriented community. And it's just a pleasure to see everybody out here. All-volunteer event, 53rd year. This is Pompano. This is the best. Thank you. Love to hear that. Thank you so much. We're so glad that you're here and you're able to join us this evening. Thank you. All right. It looks like our Marine Max Getaways is coming on screen. This is a 54-foot Sea Ray Sundancer. Marine Max Pompano is proud to help celebrate the season with our Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce Boat Parade. And this year... They've decorated their new 2016 Sea Ray 540 Sundancer. Oh, see, Beautiful. Taking, taking advantage of his fancy oh, electronics, yes. spinning the boat around there. Very nice. Oh, look, he's walking the boat sideways in front of us. Very impressive. Okay, well, they also carry a, fu a full line of Boston whalers from 11 feet to 42 feet. And the new Scarab jet boats. Wow, 16 oh, foot to 25 feet. <laughs> right. On behalf of everyone at Marine Max, they're going to wishing us all a happy holidays. They've got a full crew up on the deck. I am here with Mr. Rick Green, who is the president of the Chamber of Commerce, and he has some words that he would just like to share with the community. So, uh, Sharing words is not what this is about. This is about sharing our I community it's spirit. It's, it's about making this city so unique and not just Pompano Beach but Deerfield Lighthouse Point Hillsborough Beach we are a really unique marine industry Richard, is that business uh, community that works yeah, to promote the lifestyle that we have here in Pompano which is relaxing and boating and you know what you got a beautiful boat right here so let's get back to that that's what it's all and it's all volunteers we thank you thank you Rick all right, this is the Blue Intrepid. It's a 40-foot center console, Intrepid Thomas. Um, the Minions have arrived. Oh, That's their minion. theme. I love the Minions. And a big crew. Look at that. Looks like they're looking for a new master, and what better place to look than the Pompano Beach Boat Parade. Okay, we have 27 right behind them here. Uh, the Sea Siren is a 46-foot Newton for 
from the Dive Boat Charter Company, Odyssey Charters. This boat is part of a two-boat fleet in partnership with Pompano Dive Center. The charters run dive and snorkel trips twice a day to local scuba and snorkel spots offshore the coastline here in Broward County. The shop also has a dive shop equipped with basic snorkel equipment all the way up to advanced technical diving gear. At this location, you can ta also take classes to get certified in scuba from beginner levels up to the professional working certificates. Come by and say hi to all of the experienced and passionate teammates of Pompano Dive Center, Odyssey Charters, located at 101 North Riverside Drive. It looks like we have a uh, the 62-foot Hatteras. They didn't give us uh, much commentary, so we'll make it up as we go. <laughs> well, it looks like they're having a good time. Uh, Jared Young seems to be the owner. Um, and I saw this uh, yesterday in Winterfest Parade also, so I'm glad to see them again. They've got a full crew, great sound system, and an impressive horn. <laughs> <laughs> They know how to have a good time out there. You know, we've seen a lot of fun people out on the boat tonight. We've seen a lot of minions, and I've seen a few dogs. And just kind of a reminder, this time of year, if you're looking to get an additional family member with four legs, adopt. There's a lot of dogs out there that need homes. It's all about loving the holidays. Oh, season. this is War Eagle. Way back. There they all are. Right. 23 we got is War the number Eagle. we had. There Merry, we go. Merry Christmas from the War Eagle and Dive Heart. Dive Heart is a nonprofit organization that provides scuba diving, scuba therapy, and related activities to build confidence, independence, and self esteem uh, to children, adults, and veterans with disabilities. The South Florida Kayak Meetup is a club that has been serving the Broward County kayak canoe community since 2006. They offer many fun events, training, and trips for all skill levels. The deck of the kayak is filled with specifically designed wires, L, L wires for illumination. Including Rudolph's nose, I'm impressed. Look at Rudolph, <laughs> aw. The lead kayak has Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and is standing proudly on the bow. There's it. also a 4.5 foot lit palm tree. That's awesome. Uh, from Boathouse Marine. Boathouse Marine Center is a locally family-owned business and part of our committee and very supportive of everything we do. Uh, representing Southport, the highest quality brand in the market today, the Boathouse team is available to support all aspects of your boating needs, new sales, service, storage, and brokerage. Tonight, the team is on board the new 2015 Southport 29FE, designed to perform for you. The Southport features upgrades above and below deck, all aimed at delivering the most family friendly and fishable it's a lot of f's center console boat on the market and right now we have no name aboard no name is the furlong family from pompano and some of the minnesota escaping the cold so you've got their their friends out there with them wishing everyone a happy holiday all right and it looks like finally it's all good there it is. and it definitely is Captain Joe Bud Maniscalco, Wellington, Florida, is an avid enthusiast of many bow parades here in South Florida. We're so glad they joined us tonight. Coming up close for us here to take a nice look at all the detail. Well, it looks like they're celebrating the true meaning of Christmas with a floating nativity scene. Nicely done, Captain and crew. Love that they come so close. Boy, we get a close-up personal view. We'd like to welcome and thank everyone that was in our parade tonight. Our uh, BSO Marine Patrol has been out there keeping everyone safe on the water. We love having them with us every year. On behalf of the Greater Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce, the 2015 Boat Parade Committee, our sponsors and volunteers, and of course, the skippers who decorated their boats, to join us for this 53rd annual Greater Pompano Beach Chamber of Commerce Holiday Boat Parade. We thank you for joining us and helping to make this evening another magical holiday event on the waterway. See, See you next year. year.